Hi, welcome back to Mr. Menta's ELL Classroom. Today we're going to be continuing our discussion of Chapter 6 of the Red Book, which is about superlatives, saying something is the most. To continue this lesson, you will need this page, page 51 of your textbook. You do not need to print this page. And this page, page 52 of your activity book. This page, I want you to print if you have a printer. If you do not have access to a printer, write the answers on a separate sheet of paper. And you'll need a separate sheet of paper anyway. So, let's keep talking. So last time we talked about how we can add EST to the end of a word to make it a superlative. Okay? Let's get our title. The most energetic person I know. Smart the smartest, funny, the funniest, nice, the nicest, big, the biggest. So these are the things we already practiced last time. Hopefully we're pretty familiar with these rules now. But you can't add EST to every word. Not every word can be changed that way. And like before, it's pretty much the bigger, longer words, we don't put that ending on. Energetic, the most energetic. We do not say energeticist. We say the most energetic. Okay? Because this is a bigger, longer word. Interesting. The most interesting. Again, we do not say interesting-ist. We say the most interesting. Patient. The most patient. Again, we don't say patient-ist. We say the most patient. Stubborn. The most stubborn. Okay? So some words we can add EST to the end of. Words like smart. Some words we can't do that. And that's just something you have to practice and learn and get yourself. Okay, so, looking at our examples here. I think your grandmother is very energetic. She certainly is. She's the most energetic person I know. So we're saying, like before, we're talking about someone who's the most of something, but instead of adding EST at the end, we just say they are the most. We use the word most. It's actually easier. Uh, you just have to remember when do you say most and when do you add EST at the end. So let's start out by doing some practice. Okay. We're going to do 1 through 10. Okay. And pay attention to these words like generous. If you didn't know that word before, you're supposed to know that word now. You're supposed to know it by the end of this chapter. So pay attention if you didn't know it. Okay? So. Uh, actually, we'll do uh, seven. We'll do the first seven of these. So there's 12 of them. We'll do the first seven. So number one, your friend Carlos. Interesting. So again, you take out your separate sheet of paper and write this down. I think... Your friend Carlos is very interesting. He certainly is. He's the most interesting person I know. Okay, so we're going to get some good writing practice here, okay? So go ahead. Write down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, okay? Then we'll be done. All right, so pause the video, write the answers. All right, did you pause the video and write the answers? Let's go over them. So I gave you one already. Number two, I think your grandfather is very generous. He certainly is. He's the most generous person I know. So here we see grandfather giving away candy because he's generous. Number three, I think your cousins are very talented. They certainly are. They are the most talented people I know. So just make sure you wrote they. T 
talented. Talented means they have a talent. It means they have something they're very good at. Talented people are very good at something. Some skill. Four. I think our English teacher is very patient. She certainly is. She's the most patient person I know. Do you think I'm a patient English teacher? I think maybe I'm a little impatient. But I'm energetic. Number five. Your nephew Andrew is very, I think, your nephew Andrew is very stubborn. He certainly is. He's the most stubborn person I know. Number six. I think your younger brother is very polite. He certainly is. He's the most polite person I know. Although I looked this up for you. If you want to say politest, politest is a word that is allowed. But people usually say most polite. But if you want to say that, you're allowed. And number seven, last one. I think your older sister is very bright. She certainly is. She's the brightest person I know. Did you remember to say brightest instead of most bright? They kind of got tricky here at the end to see if you still remembered that. This is a nice short word. So we can add E-S-T to it, brightest. All right, that's enough uh, writing exercise today. Now let's go on to vocabulary, which does involve some writing, actually. Um, but so now we've got these words here at the top, and we're going to see if you know what they mean. I like this exercise because you've got to think about it a little bit, okay? So we've got these words. What's the word? Boring, energetic. Generous, honest, interesting, noisy, patient, polite, smart, stubborn, talented. So number one, we say, Jessica sings, dances, and plays the guitar. She's very talented. In fact, she's the most talented person I know. So over here when they said, sings, dances, and plays the guitar, that's how you know the word they're looking for is talented. Okay, that's describing a talented person. So let's see number two. Can you do that? Mr. Bates gives very expensive gifts to his friends. He's very what? What's the word we've been talking about in this chapter for people who give things a lot? Who are people who give things a lot? That's... Generous. Very generous. Okay? In fact, he's the most generous person I know. Okay? So that's how we're going to do that. So you go ahead and pause the video, fill in the rest of the answers, okay? All right, did you pause the video? Pause the video if you haven't paused it yet. Okay, so let's do number three. My Aunt Louise jogs every day before work. You know jogs, that's kind of like running. She's very blank. I'm probably gonna have to go with energetic. Energetic, check your spelling. It's right on the page. Check your spelling. In fact, she's the most energetic person I know. Number four. Marvin always says thank you and you're welcome. He's very polite. Polite. In fact, he's the most polite person I know. Or if you want to, politest. You can say politest, although it's rare. Number five. Samantha always knows the answers to all the questions. She's very smart. In fact, she's the smartest 
S M A R T E S T, person I know. Make sure you wrote smartest, not most smart. Smartest, okay? I hope you're checking your work carefully. Checking your work is a very important part of this process. Number six. Edward isn't reading a very exciting novel. It's very boring. The opposite of exciting is boring. In fact, it's the most boring book in his house. Number seven. Dr. Chen never gets angry. She's very... what would that be? I think patient. Yes. She's very patient. In fact, she's the most patient person I know. And number eight. Mayor Jones always says what he thinks. He's very honest. In fact, he's the most honest person I know. Number nine. My next door neighbor plays loud music after midnight. He's very... Uh, let's see, are we going to go with noisy? I'm going to go with noisy. He's very noisy. In fact, he's the noisiest person I know. Noisiest. Not most noisy. Noisiest. Noisiest. N-O-I-S. Uh, wait a minute. I-E-S-T. Noisiest. Ten. I'm never bored in my English class. My English teacher is very interesting. In fact, she's the most interesting person I know. Am I interesting? I hope I'm interesting. I try. I know what it's like to be stuck in a boring class. Number eleven. My brother-in-law is always sure he's right. He's very stubborn. In fact, he's the most stubborn person I know. Alright, did you get all of those? Good work. I'll see you in the next video.